earmuffs. Put my hair behind my ears. Okay. <clears throat> I guess I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Still have a strap showing on, oh. your, on your right. Okay. Not there now. Not there. Okay. A little lopsided, but. Oh. Well, it's because. Now your shirt. I know. To do it. For whatever reason. <laughs> Am I straight now? You're straight now. Okay. Oh, straight enough. dear. Lopsided. <laughs> okay, we're ready. I took off my earmuffs. Time to say hello. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I want to talk about your immune system. How is yours? Are you playing in the dirt? Are you going outside? Are you picking up worms? Oh, if you're not, I need you to do that. Everybody needs to keep their immune system strong. I play with chicken poop every day. <laughs> you could do that too if you like. Um, but no, really, I'm serious about this. They're saying that, at least in New York, they're saying that 66%, I think it is, of the new cases like that, yeah. are from people who have been staying at home. Why are they getting sick if they're staying at home? Well, the reason I think, this is my thinking. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an Indian chief. I'm none of those things. <laughs> not but a scientist. I'm not a scientist. No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm just Nona Grace. And this is what my thinking is on this. They're saying that people are getting sick. And I think it's because a lot of them are just not going outside and breathing the air that's outside. They have to go outside or open their windows or something. Plus, they're not moving around very much. Instead, they're walking back and forth to the refrigerator. And that's not healthy way to be. You can't just get up to go get yourself something from the refrigerator and, oh, excuse me, talk about <laughs> eating and I burp. You know, when I used to talk, when I used to cook, just talking about food and I'd start burping. <laughs> because I wasn't hungry and the kids were always hungry. But anyways, that's no exercise. What you need to do is you need to get outside into the into the air. And I would suggest you dig in some dirt. Then come in the house. Don't wash your hands. <laughs> You're thinking I'm crazy. Well, if they're really if, dirty, then you can rinse them. Just but... brush them off. Brush them off. Brush them off. You know, just brush them off. <laughs> do like the kids do. Wipe them on the back of your pants. <laughs> And then well, you yell at me for that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't like to find you, you learned not to do that a long time ago. Yeah. But anyways, don't wash them right away because you know you need a little bit of that outdoor bacteria to help get your own immune system back up because it used to be good and get some sunshine. You got to get that sunshine and if there's no sunshine, go outside, stick your tongue out and get some rain. <laughs> <laughs> Kids used to do that too. And did they get sick? No. Well, kids, they might have, but mm, it wasn't very long lasting. Kids were kids were re re rarely sick. Um, so you need to you need to start stop being so germophobic, I guess. Antiseptic. Yeah. And when I come in, I wash my hands. If I wash my hands, which I do wash my hands now and then, but I just use regular old bar soap. I don't use any antibacterial soap. I don't use any of that stuff now. Even our dish soap. Now, uh, right, even our dish soap is an antibacterial. And that was hard to find because they want to put it in everything. And that's why these germs that are out there are starting to get stronger and stronger. They're doing the exercise instead of us doing the exercise. And that's not healthy. Now, I'm going to put in a little video of enough on the germs. I want to show you something. I want to show you something that I saw today. Um, I went for a little walk up the hill to the neighbors because I wanted to deliver some eggs. But I want to show you a wood pile. First, I'm going to show you what you've seen as wood piles, I'm sure. Then I'm going to show you this really nifty way of doing the wood pile. And I guess it's something that we do in our area. I don't know if other places do it. I've never seen it on any YouTube channel. 
So I'm thinking it's just maybe it's our area only doing it. I don't know. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you do your wood piles this way. So let's go there. We're going to walk up the hill and you're going to see how most wood piles look in the area. I'll show you this one. Whoa, it's squishy here. Holy macaroni. It's real squishy. <laughs> oh well. Huh? That's why it has not been mowed. Well, it can't be mowed yet because I'm I'm sinking, the tractor would sink. But this is a wood pile. Notice, this is how wood piles are around here. But I'm going to show you the real pretty ones. So stick around, don't go away. Watch this lovely video that's coming your way. I made a rhyme. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's squish, squish. Can you hear squish? <laughs> it's squishy. It's so squishy. Oh my goodness. I'm going to walk up to the neighbors and give her some eggs. I've got so many eggs, i got to give some away today. And there's my chickens. And you know, Silver Fox, she's staying put because she's gone broody again. So that means now, I don't know how many eggs she's got under her. I know she's got two that I put under there. But I don't know what else she has under. Because she's sitting on the fake eggs too. So I don't know if she thinks she's got more than what she's got. I don't know. Well, I'm going to bring these up to the neighbor. I also want to show you their wood piles. They've got some really neat wood piles, the way they pile their wood. I've not seen anybody on YouTube do it this way, but this is really, looks really neat. He does them in circles. Well, here's their wood. how it's piled. Isn't that the niftiest looking wood? I love it. Eggs are delivered. Wood is beautiful. Oh, look at the wood. Look at this. My goodness. There's where I am. Right down there. All this beautiful land. And there's a creek here. Mr. Crow. Silver's not on the nest. Must be she's not broody. Hmm, or is she broody? I'm gonna have to check. What she had under her. She 
inches off the nest. It was just the two eggs that I put under there. I don't know if she wants to sit on eggs or not. Take these out. Well, what do you think of that wood? That's pretty nifty, I think. And I showed you a little bit of the woods that's near us and a little bit of, and I walked to the driveway of the neighbor, that was the neighbor's driveway. And that was land that is up behind. Work on that immune system. Go out and play in some dirt. And don't worry about washing your hands as much as you are washing your hands. I clean out the chicken house. I go mm. and I wash my hands because I just touched chicken poop. <laughs> but dirt, don't worry about the dirt. I guess that's enough of this germ phobe <laughs> stuff. I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Stay healthy and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.